So here's the thing, I wanna share with you my exact notes on the law of assumption. And then I want you to start to think about how winners may already be using these things without even knowing them, and that you can, in the most benevolent way possible, actually steal these knowledge bites and use them for yourself and your life to grow in confidence and success. Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. Brand new week here on the Cabral Concept. Excited to get into today's topic, and that is surrounding the law of assumption. Now I'm titling this show something about the inevitability of success or why winners always seem to win and how you can become one of them. And I came up for this idea for the show because I was reading back on some of my notes. I, I love, I, I read a lot of actual books like paperback books or textbooks. And the reason why I like to do that is that I can specifically mark the book, I can mark the pages, I can look at the actual book cover, and I can remember the knowledge that is held within that book. And so I was looking back at a, a Neville Goddard book, and it was about a passage on the Law of Assumption. Now, I've done shows on the Law of Assumption before. I'd love to link those up for you, and I'll be happy to do that today at stephencabral.com slash 2726. And I'll leave the three big takeaways for today's show there, as well as maybe a book by Neville Goddard as well. So here's the thing. I want to share with you my exact notes on the law of assumption, and then I want you to start to think about how winners may already be using these things without even knowing them, and that you can, in the most benevolent way possible, actually steal these knowledge bites and use them for yourself and your life to grow in confidence and success. All right, here are my notes. There's only about eight bullets that I wanna share with you. So I always, I love to think in bullets. So for me, yes, I'll, I'll read these lengthy books, of course, but you can't do anything with a 300-page book. What you can do, and what I like to create for myself, is basically just a little one-page cheat sheet of bullets. So I'm gonna share those bullets with you right now, and hopefully they're useful. So the first one is this. The law of assumption means this. Assume that your goal is an inevitable reality. And I wanna explain these to you. So what does it mean if your goal is an inevitable reality? It means that the goal that you set for yourself in your life to get healthy, to gain the weight, lose the weight, transform your body, to find that perfect relationship, to improve your spirituality and your connectedness in this world, your purpose, right? Searching for purpose. Uh, or maybe it's a career path for you or finance or whatever it might be, right? So whatever goal you have, if you set it for yourself, the goal is to set it and think about it as an inevitable reality. That means that it's literally already done, which was my next bullet. Now, I know this is gonna get a little confusing, so I'll explain all of these things. You have to think about it, that there's no need, and this is my bullet, now there's no need to feel need or hope, because it's already done. Now, what does that mean? So if you believe in the actual quantum physics, which is called quantum mechanics, that, there is, that everything in this world has a specific frequency, a specific vibration, and there are amazing tuning fork videos and everything else out there, that if the thing that you want has a specific frequency or vibration, the only reason that you don't have it right now is because that you are not in the same vibratory frequency as that thing. Now, I can, get, I can give you the science behind this. I can give you the you know, meta, which is what we're talking about right now, the meta physics around this right now. And what I want to do is, is try to make it more sense, though, as a concept, okay? Because we're going to get into the winner's part in just a second and how you can join that category if you're not already. And I bet you are in some part of your life, but you want that other part of your life to catch up, right? I think that's how most of us are. It's like, I can get better in certain things. Why aren't I good there yet? Why aren't I, why aren't I where I'm supposed to be when I can excel here? right? Where's the carryover? I'm going to teach you in just one moment. So here's the thing. If you know that you've set a goal for yourself and you know that you can have it, you just need to match that frequency, then there's no need to have hope. There's no need to feel want, right? Because it's not a mystery. 
And then you have to understand is that it's already done, that it's there waiting for you. So the next bullet is this. You are now living as if it is a fact, which I think is pretty amazing. So now I think about it. Okay, I want to achieve, again, like just put it out there for whatever it is. So I'll give you an example. I never, I, I just never believed, uh, well, here's, the, I, I shouldn't put it that way because then it, it negates my goal, right? I didn't know, I always wanted to be a doctor, but I didn't know how it was going to happen. I always wanted to get well, but I didn't know how it was going to happen. Uh, I always wanted to have my own office, but I didn't know how it would happen. Like, I didn't know how any of those things would happen. I always wanted a family, but I believed I could make that happen, right? I wanted to transform my body. I knew I could make that happen. So like, it's a knowing, right? Like, I just felt like, well, if I find the right person and they wanna have a family, well, then I'm gonna be able to have a family. Like, that was my thought process, right? It was when I was younger. And the same with transforming my body. Well, I've learned, starting at 17, 18 years old, out of almost necessity, I learned about nutrition like really advanced nutrition. I learned about supplementation. I learned about exercise. So I was like, yeah, I could transform my body. I know how. So what I've realized is that I had some knowledge or confidence in those areas. And I was like, yeah, of course I can make these things happen. I can't make them happen today. But when it was out of my frame of reference, starting a business, owning an office, becoming a doctor, getting well, I didn't know how to do any of those things. So for me, it didn't feel inevitable. That was the problem. And that, that's the biggest disconnect. And I'll, I'll, again, I'll get that into one moment, but I wasn't living as if those things were facts, which is why I think that they took a long time to happen. So the next is this, next bullet is this. You are waiting for its manifestation in this reality, but no longer wishing for it. So again, when you set the goal, you're no longer wishing for it. You, you don't wish. It's inevitable. You know that you're going to receive it. So the next one is this. Wishing assumes you don't have it and may not receive it. That then negates the law of attraction. And you're no longer using the law of assumption. The law of assumption strengthens the law of attraction. And again, I'm not gonna, I have lots of shows in the law of attraction. I bring you the science behind it, not just the woo-woo, right? Um, but here's the thing. If you continue to wish for something, you are strengthening the idea that you do not have it in this physical world, which is the truth, right? But there is another world out there, which we know about, which is the quantum soup out there of the invisible, which is basically 99% of our reality. That is frequency, frequency, energy, and vibration. Again, everybody from Nikola Tesla to the ancient uh, Greeks and Egyptians and like oh, the most advanced societies knew these things, probably maybe even better than us, right? The next bullet is this. The law of assumption means you already know, not just believe, you know that your goals are being manifested as long as you feel it. I'm going to move right into the next bullet. Feeling is the secret. I shared with you the reason why the law of attraction doesn't work for most people is because it's missing the feeling. You can't put photos up on a wall. You can't recite things over and over. None of those things matter if you don't feel it. You need to actually emotionally have a strong emotional feeling that it's already here and that it's already done. Not that you're moving towards it because then you stay in a state of what? Moving towards it. So the feeling is the secret of it already being done. I'm going to give you a couple examples from winners that we know. Michael Jordan, Tom Brady, two of the best athletes in their sport. Michael Jordan, best ever to play basketball. Yeah, you can make arguments for other individuals. Nobody was better. Michael Jordan was the best. You used to be able to make arguments that there were better football players than Tom Brady. You can't make that argument anymore. You really can't. What did both of them do? They would visualize in their minds hitting the winning shot, throwing the winning touchdown, winning. They would visualize winning. Not going to win, actually winning the game. Bef famous story, before Tom Brady's first Super Bowl, he's like 
23 years old or so. This is back in like 2001. He fell asleep in the locker room before the game started. That's how relaxed, confident, and using, using visualization he was already adept at. That is unbelievable. I mean, I wasn't there at 23, I'll tell you that right now. I don't know that I'm there right now that I could fall asleep before a big moment, being that self-assured that it's going to happen. Remarkable. That is why winners continue to win. They have the confidence and belief in themselves that they can make it happen. Now, it's not always easy for us to feel that same way, but that's why I teach doing small steps, taking small actions, building confidence, borrowing from other areas of your life that you were successful. That's what I started to do in my life. Okay, I could transform my body. I could really do that. Well, if I could transform my body, maybe I can figure out how to transform my health. And eventually I did that. Okay, I can be a you know, pretty good independent nutritional consultant to clients and personal trainer and strength and conditioning specialist. Maybe I could help to grow a team and create a wellness center in Boston or first a studio. And then, oh, I did that. Okay. Now, maybe if I studied and I got all my certifications, I had well over a dozen certifications, maybe I can go back to school, get my doctoral degree, and then maybe I still wasn't even confident enough to open my own practice. But I worked in another uh, natural health-based practice with additional chiropractors and massage therapists and, and um, rehabilitation specialists and acupuncturists. And then I said, okay, I've been doing this for a year. Maybe I can build out my own space. It's, it's borrowing the success of the past to doing things that you've never done before. And then saying, if it worked before in other areas, why does this area have to be different? And then begin to visualize yourself already having done it. Not doing it, that's good, that's good, but having done it. In feeling that emotion of success, of a job well done, of something being accomplished that you always had looked forward to. And that last bullet on my list was this. See yourself, meaning like you need to close your eyes or keep your eyes open if you'd like, whatever works for you but visualize yourself, see yourself using as many of the senses as you can, sight, smell, taste, touch, experiencing your goal already have been achieved. When you do that, you are using the law of assumption. These are what the best of the best do, whether they know it or not in their particular sport, business, career, parenting, relationships, spirituality, public speaking, you name it. All you are looking to do is visualize what it is that you want already having been accomplished. Then your job is to open your eyes and begin to then step into that light and follow the path that unfolds before you, knowing that it is not if you will achieve your goal, but simply a matter of time. Thank you so much for tuning into today's Cabral Concept. I thank you. I appreciate you for being a part of this community. All the show notes for today's show and all the three big takeaways will be at stephencabral.com slash 2726. Have an amazing day. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.